Hello, my friend. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that touches countless lives overcoming addiction. It's a journey, and like any journey, it begins with a single step. But for those grappling with addiction, the path to recovery often involves 12 steps, the 12-step program. Each step is a milestone, a stepping stone to rediscovering yourself and reclaiming your life. It's about understanding, acceptance, and transformation, one step at a time. The first step, admitting powerlessness over addiction, is about acknowledging the hold it has on you. It's about recognizing that you alone can't wrestle it into submission. It's about understanding that addiction is a powerful force and trying to conquer it single-handedly can leave you feeling defeated. This is where faith comes in. It doesn't have to be a specific religion, but a belief in something bigger than yourself, something that can offer strength and support when your own feels depleted. This self-love, as you define it, becomes a source of hope, a beacon in the darkness of addiction. Surrendering control doesn't mean giving up. It's about letting go of the reins, acknowledging that you need guidance on this journey. It's about trusting in that higher power, allowing it to lead you toward recovery. This surrender is an act of courage, not weakness, because it opens the door to healing. This step calls for deep introspection. It's about looking within, taking stock of your actions, your choices, and their impact. It's about being honest with yourself, acknowledging the mistakes, the hurts, the regrets. This isn't about self-condemnation, but about understanding the roots of your addiction. Honesty takes center stage again, this time extending beyond yourself. Confess your wrongs to yourself, to your higher power, and to another person. This act of confession is about releasing the burden of secrecy, of carrying the weight of your past alone. It's about finding freedom in truth. Now that you've acknowledged your flaws, this step is about preparing yourself to let them go. It's about opening your heart and mind to the possibility of change, of shedding those harmful traits that contribute to your addiction. This is a mental and emotional preparation for transformation. Humbly ask your higher power to help you overcome your shortcomings. This isn't about expecting a miracle, but about actively seeking help, acknowledging that you can't conquer this alone. It's about inviting a higher power to work in your life, to guide you toward healing. Addiction doesn't just affect the individual, it ripples outward, impacting those around them. This step is about recognizing those you've hurt, acknowledging the pain your actions have caused. It's about taking responsibility and preparing to make amends. Wherever possible, reach out and make direct amends to those you've harmed. This isn't about seeking forgiveness, but about taking concrete steps to right your wrongs. Remember, there may be instances where direct amends could cause further harm. In those cases, seek guidance on how to make amends indirectly. Recovery is not a destination, it's an ongoing journey. Continue to self-reflect, to take stock of your actions and thoughts. When you make mistakes, admit them, learn from them, and move forward. This step ensures you stay on the path of recovery. Nurture your connection with your higher power through prayer and meditation. These practices provide solace, strength, and guidance. They help you stay grounded in your recovery, reminding you that you are not alone in this journey. As you work through the steps, you'll likely experience a spiritual awakening, a newfound sense of purpose and clarity. Share your journey with others who are struggling, offering them the hope and support you've found. By helping others, you solidify your own recovery. We've journeyed together through the 12 steps, each one a beacon on the path to recovery. Remember, you are not alone in this. Reach out, seek support, and embrace the 12-step program. It is a lifeline, a roadmap to rediscovering yourself and reclaiming your life. Recovery is a journey of courage, resilience, and hope. It's about healing, growth, and embracing a future filled with possibilities. Hello, my friend. 
Today, we're diving deep into a topic that touches countless lives overcoming addiction. It's a journey, and like any journey, it begins with a single step. But for those grappling with addiction, the path to recovery often involves 12 steps, the 12-step program. Each step is a milestone, a stepping stone to rediscovering yourself and reclaiming your life. It's about understanding, acceptance, and transformation, one step at a time. The first step, admitting powerlessness over addiction, is about acknowledging the hold it has on you. It's about recognizing that you alone can't wrestle it into submission. It's about understanding that addiction is a powerful force and trying to conquer it single-handedly can leave you feeling defeated. This is where faith comes in. It doesn't have to be a specific religion, but a belief in something bigger than yourself, something that can offer strength and support when your own feels depleted. This self-love, as you define it, becomes a source of hope, a beacon in the darkness of addiction. Surrendering control doesn't mean giving up. It's about letting go of the reins, acknowledging that you need guidance on this journey. It's about trusting in that higher power, allowing it to lead you toward recovery. This surrender is an act of courage, not weakness, because it opens the door to healing. This step calls for deep introspection. It's about looking within, taking stock of your actions, your choices, and their impact. It's about being honest with yourself, acknowledging the mistakes, the hurts, the regrets. This isn't about self-condemnation, but about understanding the roots of your addiction. Honesty takes center stage again, this time extending beyond yourself. Confess your wrongs to yourself, to your higher power, and to another person. This act of confession is about releasing the burden of secrecy, of carrying the weight of your past alone. It's about finding freedom in truth. Now that you've acknowledged your flaws, this step is about preparing yourself to let them go. It's about opening your heart and mind to the possibility of change, of shedding those harmful traits that contribute to your addiction. This is a mental and emotional preparation for transformation. Humbly ask your higher power to help you overcome your shortcomings. This isn't about expecting a miracle, but about actively seeking help, acknowledging that you can't conquer this alone. It's about inviting a higher power to work in your life, to guide you toward healing. Addiction doesn't just affect the individual, it ripples outward, impacting those around them. This step is about recognizing those you've hurt, acknowledging the pain your actions have caused. It's about taking responsibility and preparing to make amends. Wherever possible, reach out and make direct amends to those you've harmed. This isn't about seeking forgiveness, but about taking concrete steps to right your wrongs. Remember, there may be instances where direct amends could cause further harm. In those cases, seek guidance on how to make amends indirectly. Recovery is not a destination, it's an ongoing journey. Continue to self-reflect, to take stock of your actions and thoughts. When you make mistakes, admit them, learn from them, and move forward. This step ensures you stay on the path of recovery. Nurture your connection with your higher power through prayer and meditation. These practices provide solace, strength, and guidance. They help you stay grounded in your recovery, reminding you that you are not alone in this journey. As you work through the steps, you'll likely experience a spiritual awakening, a newfound sense of purpose and clarity. Share your journey with others who are struggling, offering them the hope and support you've found. By helping others, you solidify your own recovery. We've journeyed together through the 12 steps, each one a beacon on the path to recovery. Remember, you are not alone in this. Reach out, seek support, and embrace the 12-step program. It is a lifeline, a roadmap to rediscovering yourself and reclaiming your life. Recovery is a journey of courage, resilience, and hope. It's about healing, growth, and embracing a future filled with possibilities. Section 1. A Common Struggle 
understanding alcohol use disorder. Alcohol use disorder is a serious health problem affecting millions of people around the world. It's characterized by the inability to control alcohol consumption despite negative consequences. This can range from mild to severe, impacting various aspects of a person's life. It's important to understand that alcohol use disorder is not a sign of weakness. It's a complex condition with biological, psychological and social factors. Many individuals struggling with this disorder may feel ashamed or afraid to seek help. This essay aims to shed light on alcohol use disorder, its symptoms and its impact. We will explore personal stories, discuss the risks involved and offer guidance for prevention and recovery. By understanding this disorder, we can break down stigma and encourage those affected to seek help. Section 2. Defining the disorder. When does drinking become a problem? Alcohol use disorder, also known as alcoholism or alcohol dependence, is a chronic relapsing disease. It's characterized by an inability to control alcohol intake despite adverse consequences. It's not just about how much or how often someone drinks, but also about the impact alcohol has on their life. There are different levels of alcohol use disorder, ranging from mild to severe. Mild alcohol use disorder may involve drinking more than intended or experiencing mild withdrawal symptoms. Severe alcohol use disorder can lead to significant health, social and legal problems. Diagnosing alcohol use disorder involves assessing various factors. These include craving alcohol, needing more alcohol to achieve the desired effect, experiencing withdrawal symptoms when not drinking and continuing to drink despite negative consequences. It's crucial to remember that alcohol use disorder is a medical condition, not a moral failing. Recognizing the signs and seeking professional help are crucial steps towards recovery. Section 3. Recognizing the signs. Spotting alcohol use disorder in yourself or others. Identifying alcohol use disorder can be challenging. Many people try to hide their drinking habits or downplay the problem. However, there are some common signs that may indicate a problem with alcohol. One of the most noticeable signs is an increased tolerance to alcohol. This means needing more alcohol to achieve the same effects as before. Another sign is experiencing withdrawal symptoms when not drinking, such as anxiety, tremors or insomnia. Changes in behavior and mood can also be indicative of alcohol use disorder. Individuals may become more irritable, withdrawn or neglect their responsibilities. They may also experience problems in their relationships or at work due to their drinking. If you notice these signs in yourself or someone you care about, it's essential to seek help. Early intervention can significantly improve the chances of successful recovery. Section 4. The Ripple Effect – How Alcohol Use Disorder Impacts Lives Alcohol use disorder doesn't just affect the individual struggling with it, it has a ripple effect, impacting families, friends and communities. The consequences of this disorder can be far-reaching and devastating. Families of individuals with alcohol use disorder often experience emotional distress and financial strain. They may face challenges in communication, trust and maintaining healthy relationships. Children in these families are particularly vulnerable, and may experience emotional and behavioral problems. The social impact of alcohol use disorder is significant. It contributes to accidents, violence, and crime. It also places a burden on healthcare systems and the economy. The costs associated with treating alcohol-related illnesses and addressing the consequences of alcohol-related incidents are substantial. Understanding the broader impact of alcohol use disorder highlights the importance of prevention, early intervention, and comprehensive support for those affected. It's a societal issue that requires a collective effort to address. Sarah's story is a powerful example of the challenges and triumphs of overcoming alcohol use disorder. For years, she struggled with alcohol dependence, hiding her problem from friends and family. Her drinking escalated gradually, starting with social events and eventually becoming a daily habit. Sarah's life began to unravel as her drinking spiraled out of control. She experienced job loss, strained relationships, 
and a decline in her physical and mental health. The shame and guilt she felt kept her trapped in a cycle of denial and self-destruction. One day, Sarah reached a breaking point. She realized she couldn't continue living this way and decided to seek help. She joined a support group and began attending therapy sessions. The journey to recovery was long and difficult, but Sarah persevered. Today, Sarah is living a fulfilling life, free from alcohol addiction. She credits her support system, therapy, and her own determination for her success. Sarah's story offers hope and inspiration to others struggling with alcohol use disorder. Understanding the risks, long-term health consequences of alcohol use disorder. Alcohol use disorder poses serious risks to both physical and mental health. The long-term consequences of excessive alcohol consumption can be devastating, affecting various organs and systems in the body. One of the most significant risks is liver damage. Alcohol is a toxin that the liver must process. Over time, excessive alcohol intake can lead to inflammation, scarring, and ultimately cirrhosis of the liver. This can impair liver function and lead to life-threatening complications. Alcohol also has a detrimental effect on the cardiovascular system. It can contribute to high blood pressure, heart disease, and stroke. Additionally, heavy alcohol consumption weakens the immune system, making individuals more susceptible to infections. The mental health consequences of alcohol use disorder are equally concerning. Alcohol is a depressant that can worsen anxiety, depression, and other mood disorders. It can also impair cognitive function, memory, and judgment. Preventing alcohol use disorder, steps to take control. While alcohol use disorder is a complex issue, there are steps we can take to prevent it and promote responsible alcohol consumption. These measures involve individual choices, community involvement and public health initiatives. One crucial step is promoting awareness about the risks associated with alcohol use. Educating young people about the dangers of underage drinking and binge drinking is essential. Openly discussing the potential consequences of alcohol misuse can help individuals make informed decisions. Creating supportive environments that discourage excessive alcohol consumption is equally important. This includes implementing policies that limit access to alcohol, such as age restrictions and regulations on alcohol sales. Encouraging healthy coping mechanisms and stress management techniques can also play a role in prevention. Providing individuals with alternative ways to deal with stress, anxiety and social pressure can reduce the likelihood of turning to alcohol as a coping mechanism. Seeking help and treatment resources and support for recovery. For individuals struggling with alcohol use disorder, seeking help is the most crucial step towards recovery. Fortunately, various resources and treatment options are available to support individuals on their journey to sobriety. One of the most well-known resources is Alcoholics Anonymous AA. AA is a fellowship of individuals who share their experiences and support each other in their recovery. It offers a structured program with 12 steps that guide individuals towards sobriety. Inpatient and outpatient rehabilitation programs provide comprehensive treatment for alcohol use disorder. These programs offer medical supervision, therapy and support groups to address the physical and psychological aspects of addiction. Medications can also play a role in treating alcohol use disorder. Certain medications can help reduce cravings and withdrawal symptoms, making it easier for individuals to abstain from alcohol. Hope for a brighter future. Encouragement for individuals and families. Recovery from alcohol use disorder is possible. Countless individuals have overcome this challenge and gone on to lead fulfilling lives. With the right support, treatment and determination, anyone can break free from the grip of alcohol addiction. If you are struggling with alcohol use disorder, remember that you are not alone. Reach out to a trusted friend, family member or healthcare professional. There are people who care about you and want to help you get better. For families affected by alcohol use disorder, support and understanding are crucial. Educate yourselves about the disorder, seek guidance from therapists or support groups, and encourage your loved one to seek treatment. 
Recovery is a journey, not a destination. There will be challenges along the way, but with perseverance and support, a brighter future is possible. Imagine a night out with friends, filled with laughter and shared drinks. The atmosphere is lively and everyone is having a good time. As the night progresses, however, the mood shifts. One of your friends becomes increasingly unwell, slipping into a state of confusion and unresponsiveness. This scenario, unfortunately, is not uncommon. It paints a stark picture of the dangers of alcohol poisoning, a serious medical condition that can have life-threatening consequences. Alcohol poisoning, often occurring when a person consumes a large quantity of alcohol in a short period, is a stark reminder of the potent effects of this widely consumed substance. It is a dangerous condition that requires immediate medical attention. This essay will delve into the causes, symptoms and emergency response to alcohol poisoning, providing readers with the knowledge and tools to recognize and act in such situations. Alcohol, while socially accepted and often celebrated, carries inherent risks, particularly when consumed irresponsibly. Understanding the potential dangers of excessive alcohol consumption is crucial for individuals of all ages. The purpose of this discussion is not to instill fear, but to empower readers with the information needed to make informed choices and respond effectively in a crisis. This is not just a hypothetical scenario or a distant threat. Alcohol poisoning is a real danger, affecting countless individuals and families every year. It's a silent threat that can quickly escalate into a life or death situation. By understanding the risks, recognizing the signs and knowing how to respond, we can collectively contribute to preventing tragedies and promoting responsible alcohol consumption. Alcohol poisoning is a serious medical condition that occurs when a person consumes a large amount of alcohol in a short period. This rapid influx of alcohol overwhelms the body's ability to process it, leading to a toxic buildup in the bloodstream. The human body can only metabolize a certain amount of alcohol per hour. When alcohol intake exceeds this limit, it accumulates, disrupting vital bodily functions and potentially leading to life-threatening complications. Alcohol, once absorbed into the bloodstream, affects various organs, particularly the central nervous system, including the brain. The brain, responsible for controlling essential functions such as breathing, heart rate and temperature regulation, becomes impaired under the influence of excessive alcohol. As alcohol levels rise, these critical functions are disrupted, leading to a cascade of potentially fatal consequences. Alcohol poisoning disrupts the delicate balance of neurotransmitters in the brain, leading to a range of symptoms from confusion and disorientation to coma and respiratory failure. The severity of these symptoms depends on the amount of alcohol consumed, the individual's tolerance and other factors such as body weight and metabolism. Understanding the biological impact of alcohol on the body is crucial for comprehending the seriousness of alcohol poisoning. The effects of alcohol poisoning extend beyond the immediate symptoms, potentially causing long-term damage to organs such as the liver and brain. Repeated episodes of alcohol poisoning can increase the risk of developing chronic alcohol dependence and other health issues. Therefore, it is crucial to recognize alcohol poisoning as a serious medical condition that requires immediate attention and intervention. Recognizing the signs of alcohol poisoning can be crucial in preventing a life-threatening situation. The symptoms can range from mild to severe, often appearing gradually as alcohol consumption increases. Early recognition and intervention can significantly improve the outcome for someone experiencing alcohol poisoning. Being aware of these signs and knowing how to respond can be the difference between life and death. One of the most common signs of alcohol poisoning is confusion and disorientation. The individual may have difficulty speaking coherently, appear disoriented about their surroundings, or experience memory lapses. As alcohol levels rise, they may become increasingly unresponsive, slipping into a state of stupor or unconsciousness. These changes in mental state are clear indicators that the brain is struggling to function properly under the influence of alcohol. Physical symptoms often accompany the mental changes. 
Vomiting is a common occurrence as the body attempts to expel the excess alcohol. The skin may appear pale and clammy, and the individual may experience a drop in body temperature, leading to chills. Breathing can become slow and irregular, indicating that the respiratory system is being compromised. These physical symptoms are warning signs that the body is struggling to cope with the toxic effects of alcohol. Another alarming sign is the loss of coordination and motor skills. The individual may stumble, have difficulty walking straight, or experience slurred speech. As the condition worsens, they may lose consciousness and become completely unresponsive. This loss of motor control indicates that the brain's ability to coordinate movement is severely impaired, further emphasizing the urgency of seeking medical attention. If you suspect someone is suffering from alcohol poisoning, immediate action is crucial. Every minute counts in such a situation, and a swift response can be life-saving. The first and most important step is to call 911 or your local emergency services immediately. Do not hesitate or try to manage the situation on your own. Professional medical help is essential. While waiting for medical professionals to arrive, there are a few things you can do to help the individual. First and foremost, ensure they remain conscious and do not choke on their vomit. If they are lying down, turn them onto their side to prevent aspiration. Keep them warm with a blanket as alcohol can cause a drop in body temperature. Most importantly, do not leave them unattended. Your presence can be reassuring and can help prevent further complications. Remember, it is dangerous to try to induce vomiting or give them any food or drink. These actions can worsen the situation and potentially cause more harm. Your primary role is to ensure their safety and provide comfort until medical professionals arrive. Stay calm, reassuring and attentive and provide the emergency responders with as much information as possible about the situation. Alcohol poisoning is a serious medical emergency that requires immediate professional attention. Time is of the essence in these situations and prompt action can save lives. By staying vigilant, knowing the signs and responding swiftly, we can all play a part in preventing alcohol-related tragedies. Preventing alcohol poisoning goes beyond simply knowing the signs and how to respond in an emergency. It involves a deeper understanding of responsible alcohol consumption and the importance of moderation. Education plays a crucial role in shaping attitudes and behaviors related to alcohol use. By fostering a culture of responsible drinking, we can empower individuals to make informed choices and prioritize their well-being. Setting limits and pacing oneself are essential aspects of responsible alcohol consumption. It's crucial to be aware of one's tolerance level and to avoid exceeding it. Drinking plenty of water between alcoholic beverages can help prevent dehydration and slow down alcohol absorption. Eating before and during drinking sessions can also help mitigate the effects of alcohol. These simple measures can significantly reduce the risk of alcohol poisoning and promote a safer drinking environment. Encouraging open communication and looking out for one another are vital components of responsible alcohol consumption, particularly in social settings. Friends can play a crucial role in preventing alcohol poisoning by monitoring each other's intake and discouraging excessive drinking. Creating a supportive environment where individuals feel comfortable intervening if someone is drinking too much can help prevent dangerous situations. Ultimately, preventing alcohol poisoning requires a collective effort. It's about fostering a culture of awareness, responsibility, and mutual support. By equipping individuals with the knowledge and tools to make informed choices, we can create a safer and healthier environment for everyone. Alcohol poisoning is a preventable tragedy. By understanding the risks, recognizing the signs, and responding swiftly, we can all play a part in saving lives. This essay is a call to action, urging readers to become informed and proactive in preventing alcohol-related emergencies. Knowledge is power, and in the context of alcohol consumption, it can be the difference between a harmless night out and a life-altering tragedy. Let us all commit to responsible alcohol consumption and promote a culture of awareness and support. Encourage open conversations about the dangers of excessive drinking Share this information with friends and family. 
and advocate for responsible alcohol policies in your communities. Together, we can create a safer environment and prevent alcohol poisoning from claiming more lives. The fight against alcohol poisoning is an ongoing one, requiring continuous education, awareness and vigilance. Let us not allow ignorance or complacency to stand in the way of preventing these tragedies. By taking action, we can make a difference. One informed choice and one responsible action at a time. Remember, alcohol poisoning is a serious medical emergency that can have devastating consequences. However, it is also preventable. Let us all commit to responsible alcohol consumption and work together to protect ourselves and our loved ones from this silent threat. In popular culture, alcohol-induced blackouts are often portrayed humorously. They are seen as a funny side effect of a night of heavy drinking. The person who blacked out is the subject of funny anecdotes and embarrassing stories. However, the reality of blackouts is far from amusing. Blackouts are a serious medical condition with potentially devastating consequences. They are a sign that the brain is being poisoned by alcohol. It is crucial to understand the true nature of blackouts and their potential long-term effects. Blackouts are not simply a matter of forgetting what happened the night before. They indicate a disruption in the brain's ability to form memories. This disruption occurs when alcohol interferes with the hippocampus, a brain region crucial for memory formation. During a blackout, the hippocampus is unable to consolidate short-term memories into long-term storage. As a result, the individual has no recollection of events that occurred while they were intoxicated. The societal normalization of blackouts makes it even more challenging to address this serious issue. Many individuals, especially young adults, view blackouts as a normal part of drinking culture. This perception prevents them from recognizing the severity of the situation and seeking help. It is essential to move away from these misconceptions and acknowledge blackouts for what they truly are, a sign of significant alcohol abuse with potentially long-term consequences. By understanding the science behind blackouts, recognizing their signs, and acknowledging their potential long-term impacts, we can start addressing this often ignored health risk. Blackouts are not a joke. They are a cry for help from a brain under siege. An alcohol-induced blackout, often called an on-block blackout, is a period of amnesia caused by excessive alcohol consumption. During a blackout, a person can appear fully conscious and functional, engaging in conversations, making decisions, and even performing complex tasks. However, they have no memory of these events once the effects of alcohol wear off. This is because alcohol disrupts the brain's ability to transfer short-term memories into long-term storage. There are two main types of alcohol-induced blackouts, fragmentary blackouts and on-block blackouts. Fragmentary blackouts, also known as brownouts, involve partial memory loss. Individuals may remember bits and pieces of the events, but have gaps in their recollection. On-block blackouts, on the other hand, involve a complete loss of memory for a period of time. In both cases, the individual is conscious during the blackout period but unable to form lasting memories. The science behind blackouts lies in alcohol's impact on the hippocampus, a brain region crucial for memory consolidation. Alcohol disrupts the delicate balance of neurotransmitters in the hippocampus, hindering its ability to encode memories. As a result, the brain fails to transfer short-term memories into long-term storage, leading to a gap in recollection. Understanding the different types of blackouts and the underlying neurological mechanisms is essential for recognizing the severity of this condition. Blackouts are not simply about forgetting events. They signify a disruption in the brain's fundamental processes, highlighting the harmful effects of excessive alcohol consumption. Recognizing the signs of a blackout can be difficult, both for the individual experiencing it and for those around them. During a blackout, a person may appear fully functional and conscious, engaging in conversations, making decisions, and even performing complex tasks. This outward appearance of normalcy makes it challenging to identify someone who is experiencing a blackout. Some signs that may indicate a blackout include slurred speech, impaired coordination, 
and difficulty remembering recent events. However, these signs are also common symptoms of intoxication and do not necessarily indicate a blackout. This ambiguity makes it even harder to differentiate between someone who is simply drunk and someone experiencing a memory-impairing blackout. The difficulty in recognizing blackouts makes them a hidden danger. Individuals experiencing blackouts may unknowingly engage in risky behaviors, putting themselves and others at risk. They may make poor decisions, act impulsively, or become vulnerable to exploitation. The lack of memory of these events further complicates the situation, as individuals may not understand the consequences of their actions or seek help if needed. The challenge of identifying blackouts underscores the need for increased awareness and education. By understanding the subtle signs and the deceptive nature of blackouts, we can better recognize this hidden danger and take steps to prevent its potential consequences.